internet, I have two of the stars of CES 2019 right here. World first seven nanometer consumer Radeon card, all kinds of goodness, 699, 16 gigs of HBM memory. Uh, as you can see, there's two eight pin powers, <clears throat> power plugs. Uh, not much to say here because this is this marks AMD's return to high end uh, PC. Obviously, some people think it's underwhelming, but you only are going to have to wait until probably next month to see just how this card performs against competing cards. What people really want to know about, since you're going to know what's going to happen next month with this, is this AMD's Matisse aka third generation Ryzen. I cannot pick up this chip, we are under restrictions. We can, we can only photograph it sitting on the table, totally cool because this is the side you wanna see anyway. As you can see, there is the IO chip. It has the uh, memory controller, has PCIe all in this. This is a 14 nanometer part and it's hooked up by magical infinity fabric to this eight core core well eight core cluster I think it's an OCD or something that they're calling it but eight cores IO chip it's a chiplet design uh, why is this not built on seven nanometer well some things really don't need to be on seven nanometer so you can do it on 14 great you save some money some things actually run better on 14 nanometer the important thing is these cores are seven nanometer and because it is seven nanometer TSMC AMD says we can just get all kinds of crazy efficiency and crazy performance out of it. And if you watched the keynote this morning from Lisa Sue, you saw this chip pull dead even with a Core i9-9900K. AMD though is playing its cards very close to its chest. It did this with Ryzen, it did this with Threadripper, it does it with all of its chips. The chip won't be available until middle of the year, so why would they want to tell Intel what they're going to do so Intel has six months to get ready for it? So I think AMD understands people want to know what, what everything about it, the clocks and all that stuff, what the single thread performance is. They're not going to tell us today. But certainly, multi-core performance shown to us live on par with the Core i9-9900K. But here's the thing, AMD says, that doesn't mean this part will come out at only Core i9-9800K performance. We got a lot of time, we just got the silicon back. Maybe we tune this up, it could be faster than a Core i9-9900K. I mean, they didn't say that, but they're very much strongly implying that they are just showing off that it is at least as fast as a 9900K. You could expect that it may be well north of a 9900K in performance. And of course, the internet conspiracy right here I, I see it. You see, see it? it? It's right there. Just like the face on Mars, there is space. In fact, Lisa Sue, I will read you the quote. Some people may have noticed the package. On the package, some extra room. There is some extra room in that package, and I think you might expect that we will have more than eight cores. Yeah, so confirmed. Lisa Sue herself confirmed. has pretty much confirmed it. We're looking at it. It's got room there. Holy smokes, folks. This thing could come out, probably eight core version with SMT and maybe a 16 core version with SMT. We don't know everything in between two because right, you have multiple chips to use. Uh, the other big news is first consumer CPU, first CPU with PCIe 4, all in this package here. The cool thing is AMD's policy of not leaving motherboards behind will still be there. If you have an existing AM4 motherboard, you open it up, you put in your Matisse after you flash the BIOS, you boot it up, you'll get PCI 3. And some motherboards that do validation, you will get PCIe 4. If, they're not, if they don't validate it and they say, well, we want you to buy a new motherboard, you're gonna have to buy a new motherboard to get the PCIe 4. But I'm gonna imagine we're looking at 16 PCIe 4 lanes, which is basically like 32 uh, PCI 3 lanes. And remember, AMD actually, I think, has another four built into it. Uh, you're going to think, well, I need all this for the GPU. Uh, Radeon 7 actually is a PCIe 3.0 device. If you've got a frowny face, it really doesn't matter. We're not pushing all the bandwidth. 
of PCIe by 16 for graphics. A lot of the PCIe that, uh, that you're gonna get from by four is really gonna go towards storage. If you think about it, a lot of the small sockets, you know, non-thread ripper boards, you wanna do four M.2s, it's a problem. You're pushing it all through a, a single interface. It really, you hit a, a bottleneck. So once we get to buy four, you could use a lot of that extra excess PCIe lanes for storage to run four PCIe M.2 drives and not hit that same bottleneck you might with PCI 3.0. So again, you know, AMD says this is due the middle of 2019, which to me might indicate June. They don't say, but the cool thing about that folks is it gives you six months to guess what clock it'll run at, how many cores it'll have, what cooler it'll come with, and how much it'll cost. So enjoy the next six or seven months, folks.